A lot of our shots in the women's game are taken inside the eight, which is what we call the danger zone. This is where keepers do not want you to shoot from because it's very hard to make a save when they don't have a lot of time and space. So when we're shooting from the inside, it's important that we don't have to take the time to wind up to get a really hard shot on cage. It's not about power here, it's about accuracy. So a couple of things we're going to talk about. One of the first things is protecting your stick as you come by. You want to be able to isolate your hands and just be able to drop a ball in and around a goalkeeper. So you're catching them off guard, catching them moving, and then you're just able to place the ball and move your stick at any point around your body. I think of it like a box in front of my body. And you should have the stick work and the capability to be able to keep your hands out in front of your body and push the ball and drop it around a goalkeeper from anywhere in tight. Especially coming around the crease, that's something that's really important as you stay protected. You let a defender ride you in and you can just drop the ball in as the keeper moves to her post. Everyone knows the game Simon says. I like to play it, Jen says shooting. Whereas if I catch a ball and I'm coming across the face of the cage, goalkeepers are taught to move with you. So as I take a goalkeeper across the face of the cage, it's Jen says go this way, Jen says go this way. I line up my keeper on the opposite post, Jen says set high, and then I want to shoot low and put it down around them. So every time the goalkeeper's almost taught to be like little puppets on a string, and you're in charge, you're able to move them, and you want to just be able to place the ball around them. So it's really thoughtful shooting. You want to set up your goalkeeper, and then you want to place the ball around them.